Okay, I have a piece of glass that was a tabletop at one point. Uh, it's a little cruddy. It's been sitting around a while. And now I'm going to go ahead and make a solar heater from some 3x2 downspout aluminum and uh, some 3 8 OSB, some 2x2s. We'll see how it goes. We get it done, we'll check temperatures on it. It should do pretty good though. They're nice and warm just sitting in the sun. So that's painted brown. They're going to be painted black. Should do pretty good. Let's see. I'm going to be cutting this downspout, the aluminum downspout, with this new metal cutting blade I got. Four and a half inch. Should work all right. You like my Franken battery? It's something anyway. It works good. Okay, I got them cut. I'm going to have eight tubes in here. Just a little space in between them. And I got a about a four inch. Right now it's four and a half. Um, I think plus the plate that I'm going to put in here should be four inch hole opening here for the airflow. So I'm going to have a a chamber on the top and the bottom. They're not set perfect. And I'm going to cut slits in there and fold them over make flaps to uh, hold them in place. But I gotta get a sheet of material in here with holes cut in it so that I can put these in it and have a chamber, a baffle. And of course I'll have it up off the bottom. It won't be touching the bottom. I have some silver backed styrofoam I'm gonna put in the bottom of that too help insulate it and with the silver side up it'll help reflect some of the sunlight back onto the actual tubes so that's pretty much it now I'm going by the glass that I have so there's no sense giving you dimensions because yours are going to be different so my glass will fit in here with a little bit of space left over and so it just sits on the inside of that lip but I gotta make it a little higher and put some baffles in there. So that's next. I'm using a Forstner bit to cut the corners radius and then I'm using a jigsaw to cut out the middle and you can see on there it fits pretty good. Okay. So we're going to have eight of these all along here. Hopefully that's making a little more sense. That'll be a half inch up off the bottom and about an inch to the glass. All right. I'll keep moving. Okay, I got the pieces together. My little separator. This will set down. There we go. Next part done. You see how it's half an inch up off the bottom, so it's not touching anything. 
Okay, got the thing glued and screwed on the side there. And I got to put the ends on and then the sides all the way around it. All four sides, close that in. It's all done. Except for paint. Got to cut the hole. Put the glass on. Seal it up. But you get the idea. Now you see what it'll look like with the glass on anyway. I had to cut a three inch hole in for the uh, fan so that uh, I can get air in and out. I got one here, one down at the other end. One's input, one's output. So I just wanted to show you that before it got painted and you can't see what's going on there. But I just used a uh, hole saw Drilled her out. See? That's going to be my outlet. The hot side top. Now there's my pipes going in, insulated, going into the bedroom window. And there you go. And there you go. There's the solar panel with one crack up through the middle. Yeah, it cracked. <laughs> uh, the fans at the bottom blowing cool air in heat's coming out at the top there's a homemade solar panel running the uh, fan so it cost me absolutely nothing to blow heat into the house and there you go I'll show you some slides of the thermal imaging camera um, right now, it's producing about 125 degrees going into the house. So, that panel's toasty warm.